Well, Brennan, Jen, people here in Middletown say this is a tragedy they will be sitting with for quite some time. And when something like this happened, it hits extra hard since he was a staple in this community. His smile was like, you know, I see you. I'm glad to see you. Those who knew 39 year old Quentin Williams loved him. It was tough not to, they say, as his positive personality easily rubbed off on others. His zeal for politics and community service extended beyond the state capitol and touched the hearts of Middletown locals. People keep saying, you know, Quentin taught me how to fix my credit and use a credit card. Quentin helped me get involved in politics. Williams took his expertise to the classrooms teaching leadership courses at the University of Hartford in 2019. We get evaluations from students every semester and they consistently talked about um, how much fun they had in the conversations that would that would happen in class, how enthusiastic he was. That enthusiasm cut short when he lost his life early Thursday morning when 27 year old Kamid Mustafaj went the wrong way on Route 9 in Cromwell, also killing herself. According to the Department of Transportation, last year was the deadliest for wrong way crashes, resulting in a total of 22 fatalities. State police say this year is not off to a good start either, as they have responded to 10 wrongway driver incidents in a six day period most recently. A lot of the ones from last year, they're still under investigation. We know a couple that have been closed have been related to, to alcohol or, or, and or drugs. To combat this dangerous trend, DOT are installing additional wrongway detection systems, which will flash red if a driver is going the wrong way. And a vigil will be held tonight at 7 here at the South Green in Middletown. And our Fox 61's Gabby Molina will have more on that coming up at 530. I'm live in Middletown, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.